Hey, this is Patrick with Mad Bros Media. We're at Rose City Comic Con, and I'm here with one of my heroes, Johnny Brennan, for the Jerky Boys. How you doing today? Good. Very good. Nice to meet you. So how are you liking the con so far? I think it's very nice. The people are all wonderful. They're really wonderful, and, um, you know, I did forget to bring my shoes and my glasses, though. I did forget. I did. Uh, okay. So, uh, well, let me ask... He's like, okay... All right, I get it. It's, it's Sal. It's Sal, right? Yes, yeah, Sal. <laughs> Sal Rosenberg. Sal, okay. It's Sal, damn you. Sal. Sal. That's about the maddest Sal ever gets. So so let me ask you, what is the first prank call you ever made? Oh, uh, it's, um, I, you know, I don't remember. It wasn't, see, with me, it was never about prank calls. I know people don't, they don't believe that. But it was about doing characters. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I've been doing these characters since I'm five years old. Mm -hmm. You know, I, literally, I, uh, Frank Rizzo is my father, uh, Sal Rosenberg is my mom, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's all these years I was able to, as a kid, just say to myself, like, growing up in my house, like, I, like, d d like this shit is gold. Mm -hmm. Like, my, my father was just, you know, when you hear Frank Rizzo, that's mm -hmm. my dad. Mm -hmm. Frank Rizzo, open your ears, jackass, you know, or Sal Rosenberg. Any of the little anecdotal stuff from Sal, mm. you know? Yeah, I fell down the stairs and my shoes fell off. And, and that's very hurtful. You know that, right? I, I'm sure you've fallen down the stairs several times, perhaps. But um, that's, the, that's the characters. And, 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 and there's many more. Mm -hmm. But they're all based on family members, uh, farmers from a town I may have grown up in. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Big Old Badass Bob. That's mm -hmm. a farmer that I knew as a kid. His name was Farmer Brown. And he's like, you know, God damn it, woman. If I'd have known it better, I'd say you was a regular jackass. And, and, and when, when I do that character, people love it. But I base that character on a character that I've known that was a real person. Mm -hmm. See, that's what makes the Jerky Boys different from anything that ever was, even before. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, it, that's why I say it wasn't about prank phone calls. It was about... Me doing these characters and then one day stumbling over the idea that, wow, this would be good to get these characters interacting with people in just a normal situation. And boom, the rest just, it, just Howard Stern, he, he said, he, oh, he says, people don't get it. He says, they're still trying to do the Jerky Boys. They're still trying to recreate another Jerky Boys. They've been trying to do it for almost 40 years. And even Howard's like, it's not, it's not going to happen because, Johnny, it's not about prank phone calls and silly jokes. It's about these real people. They're real. Mm -hmm. And all of my characters that I do down through the years are based on real people. Do they try to do that with crank anchors? Do they try to, like, rip well, off jerky boys yeah, or try actually, to sample? Actually, I, I, Jimmy Kimmel did call me. We were on the phone for a while. And for whatever reason, we just couldn't come to a meeting on, of the minds and it wasn't Jimmy so much because he was very nice mm -hmm. but he wanted me to be part of, or do have something to do with that show I have I have all the original paperwork mm -hmm. that they sent me that they wanted me to do some characters mm -hmm. but it's not jerky boys it's not a lot of it's red a lot of it you know is you know after the fact and the jerky boys everything you ever heard is real 100% mm -hmm. what you're hearing is what 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 happened mm -hmm. I would never want people to get the idea that Oh, wait a minute. Does Johnny, did he do this with the Jerky Boys too? Mm. And I, so it, it wouldn't work. They, they have to know forever, you know, that what you hear with the Jerky Boys, that's what you got. Mm. Cool. Yeah. So this is one of the biggest questions I wanted to ask you when I knew you were coming. Where did the term ass neck come from? Ass neck. You know, everybody has their own story, but I can tell you very clearly we were on a bus on Fifth Avenue, mm -hmm. going down Fifth Avenue in New York City, and Kamal, who was he used to do Kissel and Tarbosh, mm -hmm. he was a kid at the time. I think he was only 14. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my buddy, Tony, and we're sitting in the back seat of the bus, mm -hmm. going down Fifth Avenue. And I, I, I looked at him. I says, because Kamal had super long legs. Mm -hmm. He was like six four, mm -hmm. but he was all legs. Mm -hmm. And I said to my buddy Tony, I says, you know, when Kamal takes a shit I think he wipes his ass neck and 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 that's and, and Tony starts he's laughing hysterical and that's mm. where the term ass neck came from uh, and I, I was very young myself but I just thought because Kamal's all legs his ass is right near the fucking the back of his neck uh, so I said oh he wipes his ass neck and then Saul would say that all the time you know I you know when I fell down I think I broke my ass neck 
and the, in Tobey Maguire and in in Spider Man and in, there was a, a movie called Joyride. Tobey mm -hmm. Maguire actually did like a 30, 30 or forty second scene using the term ass neck. Yeah, what is an ass neck, by the way? And, and they put it right in the movie. So they actually do this little go back and forth about an ass neck. And I, I use it in Family Guy. Yeah, Brian brought yeah. it up and says, you're ass yeah. neck. And then he's like, yeah. it's, it's a real thing, shut up. That's a real thing, shut up. Ass neck is a real thing, Brian. Yep, that's classic. You know, I wanted to ask you too, since you've been on Family Guy, did you ever pitch a story about jerky boys, like the family guy, like Peter or Quagmire doing like a jerky boys, kind of like prank phone calls to people? Well, actually, there's a lot. There, I've been on Family Guy. It's got to be 18, 17, 18 years now. And down through the years, there's a lot. There's a ton of jerky boys anecdotes mm -hmm. that were pulled over into Family Guy. Mm -hmm. You know, Saul Rosenberg blows his hand off. Peter blows his hand off. No. And there's, there's just a whole bunch of things that you know, or extracted from Jerky Boys to be used on Family Guy. And actually, I think there's a couple of prank call, fr prank call bits where they're calling around and they call Mort Goldman. Yeah. And, and they tease Mort Goldman. Mm -hmm. uh, I think about his, his wife is dead, his dead wife. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and then Cleveland goes, I, I, they call him up and, and Cleveland goes like, you guys are even meaner than the Jerky Boys. <laughs> and I'm saying, wait, yeah. wait a minute, Jerky Boys aren't mean. The Jerky Boys were never mean. Mm -hmm. But... Um, you know, it, it, it's just amazing how it's made its way into all pop culture and uh -huh. right up to now, Family Guy is, is one of the most relevant, it's it's the hottest show on TV. Yeah. And you're talking about uh, an Emmy, no, it was nominated for an Emmy. Mm -hmm. The only time that happened to an animated series was 61, 1961, The mm -hmm. Flintstones. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. So, you know, pretty cool stuff. Cool. So the last question for you, Johnny, is, is there going to be another... Jerky Boys movie reunion, another album coming out. Is, are you still friends? Are you still keep in touch with the mod? <laughs> you know, it, it, anything is possible in this business. Anything's possible. You know, um, it's all good, man. It's all. It's all. My stuff has been around for decades, and with social media now, it's 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 all over the place. So the Jerky Boys is just good stuff, you know. And I. I Whatever happens, it happens. You know, I'm actually right now looking at an animated series myself mm -hmm. or doing some sort of animated series for, uh, you know, for a network. So there's, there's all kinds of possibilities out there. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Johnny, for being on Mad Bros Media. This is Patrick at Rose City Comic Con 2017. Go ahead. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming out. I just want a, bit, a big shout-out to the Jerky Boys fans and Family Guys fans. It's, it's been a long, beautiful ride. I just want to say thank you to you guys. <laughs> Eat my ass, Brian! Don't you mean your ass neck? Shut up! That's a real thing! Hello? Hello? Hi. This is a public phone. Yes, what I'm trying to do is get a little dance act together, and I wonder if you'd like to do it. No, anything. I'd like Hello? you to hang up so I could make my call. Hello? <laughs> Singing and dancing. <laughs> you and me, baby. A little dance. Fruity ass, huh? Who's a fruity ass now? <laughs> <laughs>